think about it. Everybody wants to have water and some ice, right? Right, absolutely. So you go to the home center and you always can find a kit like this in a plastic bag and this has the tubing. And also there's a thing called a saddle valve right here. Now a saddle valve was designed to clamp onto a copper pipe right like this. It has two screws and it has a valve that pierces. So as I turn this, watch what happens. It pierces down through the side wall of the copper pipe creating a hole and a pathway for the water to come through the tube. And once you've pierced it, this whole contraption stays. The clamp right here stays, this little valve stays, and you just connect your tubing to this. That's right. But there has never been a product more designed to fail in the plumbing industry than this. Wow, that's a bold statement. Well, think about it. This clamp right here is not made out of brass. It's just simple white metal with a coating on it. That's going to rust someday. And when it does, it's a leak all over the place. It also has just a little gasket right here that is trying to hold back city water pressure. That's going to fail someday. Yeah. So these in many states are completely illegal really? for a licensed plumber to install. Illegal somewhere, but you never like to see them. You don't right. like them. What homeowners do you like? Homeowners can still use them, but pl licensed plumbers cannot with good reason. What do you like? Well, to find some way to cut into the pipe that it gives you a connection. You can sleep at night. So one, if you want to use solderless, if you can't solder or you don't have the tools for it, they make all sorts of connections like this. This is one right here that has a T right there with a shutoff valve to your ice maker. And then this connection is like a, what they call a Dutch finger. You push it on and it makes the connection tight. And you're okay with the solderless connection? Absolutely. But certainly we could use a traditional solder connection Absolutely. if we have to. Absolutely. Nothing beats that. You can make a nice solder connection, then you want to have a shutoff valve right here mm. for future service. Sure. So then you're going to connect to some sort of tubing. Here's your choices. This is what comes in the kit. It's simple polyethylene. There's some other plastic, poly-P. This is the stainless steel braided connection. Comes with a connection that fits right onto the shutoff valve right there. Right. And this is the copper. This is what I've always used and I'm most comfortable with. Yep. If, if I'm not going to use that, I'd use the stainless braid. Perfect. The plastic you can use, but I'd, I sleep better having no saddle valve and copper pipe. Well, I am uh, going to go home right now and make sure I don't have one of these. But in go. any case, good information. Go.